Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farah Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. In this video, I'm going to formally start the syllabus. Uh, so here we have the section number one, Theory of Computer Science. The very first topic of this section is Data Representation. Right? Or inside this topic, we are having the subtopic binary systems right before going into binary system you guys must know that what is binary system it is basically a type of number system so please kindly watch my that video as well in which i have uh, taught you people that what are number systems what are its types because it's a prereq to this video right so now let me tell you that what a student must know in this subtopic right in the binary systems what a candidate of o level computer science must know or must study right so in this subtopic a student must know the very first thing is use of binary number in computer system okay a student must know that why the binary numbers are being used what is the significance of it in computer systems the second thing is about conversion it means that a student must know that how a binary number can be converted into decimal or vice versa right the third thing is it must know what is a byte the concept of byte and how the bytes are being used in order to measure the size of a computer memory right how it can be used to measure size of computer memory this is the third thing that a student must know and according to the syllabus the fourth thing is how you are going to use binary in computer registers for a given application right so how the binary is going to be incorporated into computer registers for a given application the application can be robotics it can be digital instrument or counting systems right so computer register right so this is basically the subtopics or the main headers that you guys need to study in this binary system right so uh, i am going to start from this one that you guys should know that why are these binary numbers are used in computer systems right so let's go into it okay so here we go uh use of binary numbers in computer system why is it so uh because we have uh, many other systems like octal like hexadecimal like decimal but if we talk about um uh, computer systems then the binary number system is the most important or most um you know it's a building block for it right why is it so now let me tell you the reason behind that computer system or a computer is basically made up of switches right the so it's 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 basically a collection a million and million of switches that combine together in a motherboard or in some circuit in some uh you know a chip right uh it's a microprocessor that is basically a collection of switches and if we talk about switches then the switches are basically going to have two states either a switch is off or it can be on so these are basically the two signals that a switch can give to a computer machine right if a switch is off then in a binary system it can be represented as zero right and if a switch is on then in a binary system it can be represented as one or in a computer system it can be stored it can be uh, transmitted as zero or one right it depends upon the type of signal a switch transmits right so uh, the important thing here is that because of these two states these 
only two states of a switch uh, we only need two digits either we need a zero either we need a one in order to transmit that signal or to store that particular data into the memory right so uh, this is the reason behind using a binary number in computer system because it is at a very uh, deep manner or at a very core uh, if we talk about the machine or we talk about the circuitry so it's it's basically the binary number that is inside the uh, register or that is uh, stored into the memory right in terms of zeros and ones okay so I, I hope uh, the reason is clear to you now let me tell you that how this comes into the exam so in the past paper it is basically uh, came like uh, a question a simple question and let me share with you the question okay okay so here is the question that arised in the paper of November 2018 and it is explain why data is stored as binary in computers so I think I have already um, taught you the answer of that why because uh, it's a two marks question right so you need to write two points on that the very first point is computer has switches it's a collection of switches right computer has switches and the second thing you need to write is uh, have these are having the switches having uh, two states have only two states and what are these two states zero off or on or we can say in binary as zero or one right okay so this is all about this video um, we have started the topic of number systems and i have shared with you that why we are going to use it in computer systems and we have already discussed this question that has uh arised in one of the past paper right so i hope this uh very first subtopic is clear to you people right so in the next video i am going to start the conversions of binary numbers so thank you so much for watching it see you in the next one